Hi! You've seen the Browdino kit before. In the last video we went through and showed you how to actually take it apart, or rather how to actually put it together from a kit. So here we've got our constructed uh, Browdino kit. And we're going to turn it over and uh, you'll notice that the PCB has changed. So this is the all new PCB. Uh, it's been it's been what we've been working on. You'll notice we've got some really cool uh, diagrams to show you which which sockets you need to put your your buttons in. Uh, again, it's top to bottom, left to right. So first is pump, and then heat, and then uh, I don't even remember down or up on the left hand right hand side. But it says A0, A1, A2, A3, and on the other side here, there's also markings A0, A1, A2, A3. So it's pretty clear which one is which. Now you'll also notice that we've changed uh, the sockets so that they are pluggable sockets you know, which makes it a whole lot easier for actually working with so for example I'll just show you, pull these apart alright so now my my box and my lid for my box including the, the PCB are completely disconnected which means it's a whole lot easier to work on so you can see with my power supply I've already got my my powers hooked in and it's and it's already screwed in so I won't ever really have to do unscrew that I can just pull the socket in and out same thing with my temperature probe I've got my temperature probe uh, voltage data and ground and if you're trying to figure out on your circuit on your circuit board it has little labels showing the the plus and the minus symbols for positive and negative uh, but what you can also do of course is well not also but in case you forget easy keep in mind is left is positive right is ground so here I've got my socket sockets can only go in one way so it just goes and plugs in nice and easily and my power now the power isn't actually connected because I don't I don't like to work with a box with 240 volts uh, but I'll just show you it just plugs in like that nice and easily so that's the entire thing uh, basically the PCB is going to come entirely constructed for you let me see if I can get another copy of it here we go, so you'll get it in a, a protective foil bag. Uh, we go ahead and open that up. And this is what the PCB will look like. So you'll have uh, the the jump the the screen on the all the nylon uh, standoffs already on so we can you can put them together quite easily. And then you've got your jumpers. Now your jumpers will be here you can see we've got one, two and three. So two and three are for the spark core, but that will also work for the mega. On one and two, it will work for the mega, but if you try and use that on the spark core, it will fry uh, three of the pins. Uh, the last final pin will work on five volts fine, but the, the three pins will actually work on 3.3 volts only. So you want to leave that, uh, I would leave it all the time on pins two and three, and it works with both. But if you really want to run five volts, you can. Functionally, it makes no difference. Um, over here, you've got the jumper one and that just stays on all the time and you've got the 12 volt or 5 volt selector if your relay burns out it means that you theoretically can replace it with a 12 volt relay so there's that um, for the spark core selector if you use the spark core selector with the mega instead of the spark core then you will find that it's going to act as though the up button is constantly being pushed so don't do that you either want to use the spark core, jump, spark core jumper which is up here on this jumper storage uh, so if you're using a shield shield and a spark core um, just trying to locate one here we go so here's my shield shield and my spark core so my spark core goes into my shield shield uh, which then goes onto my brow Arduino controller or board just like looks like this pin got a little bent okay there we go so I'm just gonna put that on nice and easy and presto it's all connected and you see how snugly that goes in there on the side so that's all in so if you're using the spark core then have this spark core jumper on if you're not using the spark core and using the mega take it off put it back up here in the storage you won't lose it you've got nice convenient storage for you uh, and then of course you can put your mega on if you when you're using your mega the way to line it up is we're just going to have a look down here and this first and second row of female PCB connectors 
and we're just going to line up with the pins here there we go and then just push it in and that's it that's on so now if I plug this USB cable in um, Presto, this one is already, looks like this one's already adjusted, uh, but remember there is a potentiometer when you first get your, uh, your your shield, so on the back here you might need to adjust the contrast. So if you spin it, if it's facing you like this, if we spin this all the way to the right, unfortunately, the, well, whatever, these pots don't stop, they'll just continuously spin, it allows a, a more fine-grained control, um, but what it does mean is that you, you may not necessarily hit an end so that's maximum and we're going to just roll it back and you'll notice as we pull it back our contrast fades to nothing so if you've got a, an, a Browdorino shield and it comes up like this and you freak out don't worry about it grab your little screwdriver put your USB cable in and just turn your contrast up uh, and then presto we've got ourselves working as expected alright so let's take this off and let's put it on the actual PCB here, so I'm just going to unplug this, put this on, there we go, plug my USB cable in, and you'll notice that I've already got my temperature probe connected, so with the box you've seen most of this before in the previous video, uh, but now the temperature probe is actually connected, so we've got the temperature probe like this, and it's connected to a 3.5mm jack, nice and easily. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to show you uh, the advantage for this and the reason we've gone this way is we can take the nut off the entire cable. So what's going to be provided I think is probably a 2 meter cable. So here we've got 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. That plugs into our, our connector there nice and easy. And then you'll notice that we've got a temperature reading. Uh, so that's reading exactly what we need it to which is the temperature um, and it's accurate within a couple of degrees up to 85 degrees and it's I've never had any issues with it above that so it works really really well um, but it also means that this kit is entirely solderless now uh, because all you need to do is you'll get the you'll get this in plug it in and you don't need to resolder that for you it's already going to be soldered um, which is just fantastic so a little little temperature jack already prepared for us by the by the manufacturer of the temperature probes, so that's uh, that's the entire Browdino kit with the new PCB. Uh, I hope you I hope you like the new PCB. I hope you like the new disconnects. They're they're fantastic and make working with the PCB just a little bit easier. And you also give you a little bit more space down here to work with the the little uh, spade connectors for your push buttons. So we've done a bunch of stuff to make it uh, easy to use, and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much.